you guys, this is Evangelist Yonda, or you can just call me Yonda. I wanted to get on here and share with you guys the dream that I had about America. But before I do that, I would like to say I'm going to leave the comment section open because I have my email address now in the description box, okay? And um, I want to know... Who wants to participate in the Deliverance in December Zoom prayer call? Okay? And if you guys want to email me or if you want to put your email address in the comment section, that will be perfect. This Deliverance uh, prayer call is going to be awesome. Okay? I have uh, a great prophetic team that's going to come forth and help people with uh, deliverance. Also, it's going to be helping people with salvation that seek salvation as well. I have some dynamic people that are joining this and we want to help you guys. And it's for free. That's right. It's for free. So please utilize the email address and let me know. And if you email me that you will in fact participate, I will write your name to the side and I'll email you back to let you know that I have you locked in. So now that I got that out the way, let me go into my dream. Okay, this is a two part dream that I had that I'm going to put it together in this video. And I also would like to say is sometimes God will give me a dream or a vision that I'm not supposed to release at that in particular time. And that he will give me the time in which I'm supposed to release it. So this is the time that I'm supposed to release this two-part dream that I had. Okay, so one night I went to sleep. And when I finally got myself together and was sound asleep, I had this dream. And in the dream, I was walking down the street and I didn't know where I was. I was unfamiliar to the area, okay? But it was like a big place. It had tall, big buildings. There was a lot of people, a lot of traffic. I, I was so unfamiliar with it, but I didn't know. I assumed that it was New York, okay? Because of the actual setting. Now, I've seen New York um, pictures. I've seen it on certain TV shows. So I'm going to say that it was most definitely New York because of uh, all, all of the people and, you know, the traffic and everything. So I was actually walking down the sidewalk and in the dream, I was saying to myself, like, I didn't understand why I was there. However, as I was walking, I saw this coffee shop. And the coffee shop actually had an outside setting to it where it had the little canopies over where you can over the tables where you can go and actually sit down or you can go into the restaurant. So since I love coffee, I went into the little open area and I sat underneath one of the um, can can canopies. And shortly after that, a young lady, which was the waitress, walked up and asked me, if I was ready to order. And I told her yes. And I told her I wanted a coffee and everything that I wanted in it and everything. And she was like, okay, I'll be back shortly. And right after that, this man walked by. And I, at the time while he was walking by, all I could see was his back. Okay. He was also in the um, coffee shop as well in the outside area. And as he passed by, I could tell that he was tall and he had on a suit and he had a newspaper in his hand, okay? And also he had this distinctive smell. He had, it was like this strong cologne because I can remember, remember in the dream how my nose just started twitching because it's like I could smell the cologne, you know? It just smells so real, so vivid, right? So as the man was walking to his table, he actually turned around facing me and I could see his actual face. He had dark hair, a beard, and he had like a dark skin tone, like a brownish skin tone, but he wasn't white, nor was he black. Okay. And he actually was a nice looking guy. So the man, he sat down. And when he sat down, he got himself situated and he put his newspaper in front of him. And during that time, I was still looking at him. I was like, wow, he looks familiar in my mind, in the dream. 
And I kept saying, he looks familiar, he looks familiar. And I didn't want to seem weird, so I would look at him and then I would look away. I would look at him, then I would look away. All right, so a waitress walked up to him to get his order. And he ordered his, 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 his um, stuff. And during that time, my waitress came with my coffee. So she set the coffee in front of me and I began to think in my mind, who is this man? I've seen this man before. This man looks so familiar. So I'm steady glimpsing at him, drinking my coffee, glimpsing at him, drinking my coffee, didn't want to seem weird. And the one time that I looked over, I actually stopped drinking my coffee and I looked over. He looked up at me and he gave me a gentle smile. He just smiled. He was like, and then I was like, I just went back, right back to drinking my coffee. So then the waitress brings him his coffee and he began to drink his coffee and read his new pa newspaper. And within a few minutes, you know, after that was over with, he sat there for a while and so did I. And then he began to get up you know, as if he, he was leaving and he got up, he put some money on the table and he folded his newspaper and at that time, I was looking at him, but still, you know, drinking my coffee, not trying to make it obvious that I was staring at him. He began to walk towards me. And when he did, he looked at me and he winked his eye. He was like, and then when he did that, I just turned my face away. The new dream was over with. So I woke up out of that dream and went to the bathroom and I was like, <laughs> What what is this about? Like I, I don't I don't understand why I'm in I, I am am I in this big city? You know this man I didn't understand it. Okay, so after I went to the bathroom because I woke up out of the dream and uh, I went back to sleep. I went right back to where I left off. However. I wasn't in this big city anymore. I wasn't at this coffee shop. I was actually at my own house. Okay. So while I was at my house, I was, the scene was, I was cleaning. I was just cleaning up different rooms, you know, then I got to the kitchen and then I opened up this closet to where the kitchen was. And I saw there was a lot of, uh, old magazines and boxes and newspapers. And I remember going into the closet and just trying to sort out what I was going to keep and what I was going to throw away. So I had got the magazine situated and I went over to the newspapers. When I got over to the newspapers, I just started sorting everything, you know, throwing things away, keeping things, piling things up. You know how us ladies do when we clean, right? Then all of a sudden, I got to this newspaper, Okay. And I grabbed the newspaper because what I saw was so shocking, but yet familiar. I saw this man's face, which happened to be the same man that was in the uh, coffee shop. I seen his face in the newspaper, right? While I'm in my dream, I saw his face on the newspaper and it said, international terrorist man of war. Okay. And then I grabbed the newspaper and I came out of the closet and I was like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew I knew his face. I knew I knew this man from somewhere. I just couldn't pinpoint it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And then when I looked at the newspaper, I'm like, if he's an international terrorist, how is he here in America? And then I remember just going to grab my phone and I grabbed my phone in the dream. I'm still dreaming at this time. I grabbed the phone and I'm calling different people. I'm telling them about this dream I had about this man in the cafe and how, you know, I found the newspaper with him and he's an international terrorist. And we got to warn everybody. We got to prepare ourselves for war because I just feel like he's here for no good. He's not supposed to be here. Like this is how I was in the dream on the phone talking to people. Well, of course, everybody that I called was like, oh, Yonda, you're just being a little too, a little paranoid. Calm down. It was just a dream. You shouldn't get yourself all worked up about things like this. We can't go around warning people, you know, about something that you dreamed about. We can't do this. So I got to the last person that I was on the phone with in my dream, and they pretty much shut me down again. And so I was like, okay, I'm done. You know, everybody thinks I'm crazy. So I hung up the phone. When I hung up the phone, 
I actually took the newspaper and I walked into the living room and I sat down and got my remote to turn on the TV. Anybody that knows me knows that I don't watch TV. Okay. So this had to have been happening actually in the dream. So what I did was I turned on the TV while I'm dreaming and all of a sudden I saw breaking news. America has been attacked. Breaking news. America has been attacked. And in the, on the news coverage, I saw where people were running and screaming for their lives. I saw, you know, buildings that was burning and, you know, I, I couldn't believe what was going on. I, in the dream, I was at a state of shock. So I turned the channel. And when I turned the channel, it, it, it was like breaking news. America has been um, attacked by the international terrorists. He's taking over different cities and, and sending bombs of war to America. And it showed another scene. And it showed, you know, you know where there were buildings that was on fire. It even showed in the background of, uh, with, with the news stations where people were wounded, where people were laid out. Even um, people had died, but they had blotted out their face. And they were saying, people are, 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 are dead. And, you know, the, the people that were coming on the news they were just in a state of, of of shock and you know you could hear the despair in their voice and and in the in the back of the screens they were just showing where you know there was different explosions and there were different things that was going on and they just kept saying that America had just been under a terrorist attack and in the dream I was like oh my goodness and then my eyes went directly at the newspaper of this international terrorist, my eyes went directly to it. And then I just dropped the remote control. And all of a sudden, I woke up. And when I woke up, it was once again, everything just seemed so real. That dream seemed so, so real to me. And I feel as though the reason why God has led me to give that dream right now where we are is because of where the world is. We have people outside of America that's willing and ready to take us out, okay? We can't trust anybody. And also, what was poured into my spirit is like, this is also a spiritual attack where the world is constantly at war and we're going at each other spiritually and physically. So I'm urging everyone to let's pray for America. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I feel like something is going to happen to where we're going to be at war. Okay. So I need you guys to just go into immediate prayer soon as you see this video. Just start praying for our country, asking God to just keep us covered, that no matter what happens, that he will protect his people, okay? And I just thank all of you for being on, watching my video. If if you can, please like and share my videos. Um, I'm leaving the comment section open for this in particular video because I want to know who wants to participate in our deliverance prayer call next month. To God be the glory. I love you guys with the love of God. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.